what's up everyone and now you're going to learn how to create speed ramps how to speed up and slow down your clips as you see here in the example this is an epic necessary to ne technique you need to know as a creator because this way we can bring in momentum and flow we can zoom, zoom, go in and go out and with the right shots speed ramping is just super powerful i love to create speed ramps and to speed ramp my clips so let's dive right in all right first of all we need the right shot and for the clips it's super important that you walk as stable as possible and you always keep something in focus and i play them back here i use the gimbal and i always try to keep the car in the focus so when i speed ramp the car will always be in the center so always make sure you have something centered as you can see here that the clip in general is as smooth as possible to really make that speed ramp a look super super clean because if the clip is super shaky the speed ramp will not feel smooth so let's take this clip here for for example number one i'm going to drag it here into a new comp and i actually want to add some more contrast so i'm going to quickly add a lumetri color go into basic controls this way you can add contrast and change colors so yeah that looks way better so you can see here we have a little bit of shake when i zoom in it's not 100 percent stable at all time because what we want to have is that logo to be at the same position at all time to be 100 centered so if i leave the cursor here and i play back you see here now it just it moved away so our goal is to have it 100 centered let's apply mocha mocha is a great tool that comes right with in after effects i'm going to launch mocha i'm going to the first frame i'm now drawing a quick circle here with the circle tool around the logo boom yes like that and now i'm going to so we just want to make it as close as possible so we can track here the the circle the logo now i'm also checking perspective and now i'm just playing back here on the track so now i'm playing forward and now mocha is tracking the logo and it runs super fast as you can see here this is one of a lot of methods we actually teach as like greatest club where you can learn how to create this epic edits and fun fact the stabilizing technique with mocha instead after effects i've actually learned from one of my students from dimitro who now became a teacher inside creators club which is just amazing to see and he has a full in-depth module on how to stabilize all sorts of shots so he's the stabilizing speed ramping king if you want to level up your editing skills and become a next gen creator make sure to check out the coolest editing and creator community on this planet creators club so we just tracked it within seconds and you can see here we now get rid of this shake so now it's tracked just like that <laughs> pretty easy right nice now save it here on top that's really important and all we need to do is here to open up the tracking data and create tracking data and now when we press u we open up the keyframes we want to copy the center keyframes here and then press a make sure the cursor is all the way at the beginning and now we're pasting this center keyframes, the center of the mask we've just created and tracked this center keyframes we're pasting to the anchor point. Boom. And just like that, we just have stabilized the clip. So now the logo is 100% centered at all time, which is super epic and super fast, right? So look at that. Now, how smooth is that? That is so sick. So I'm bringing up scale and change it to 110. And maybe this already works here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's change it to 115. So we are good. So now we don't have any borders. Now we need to pre-compose those. So we pack everything into a pre-composition, just like that, pre-compose, move all attributes, yes. And now we have a clean clip we can work with. Make sure you save it. So yeah, your project is safe and you don't lose your data. So I'm just gonna create that After Effects folder. And now we are coming to the speed ramp part. You just have to right click here and select time and enable time remapping. And now we have two keyframes here. This is the first frame and the last frame here. And now with bringing these keyframes closer together, we are speeding up this part between those keyframes. And now we bring it further away, we're slowing it down. That's pretty much how the keyframes work, how time remapping works in After Effects. So now when I play it, it's just faster. Nothing else happened, it's just sped up okay but that's not what i want right so we are clicking here on the graph editor and now here you have different graphs um some like to work in the value graph which is also pretty pretty nice but i think it's cool to work in the edit speed graph but you can choose whatever you like just click in here on that on that yellow dot 
move that here a little bit away. Yellow dot, and we're dragging it down to one. Because one is the normal speed. Two is faster, three is faster, but one is regular speed. Zero is no speed. So it, the clip doesn't move. So let's drag it to one and make that RAM. Now we take in the other one here, the other yellow dot, and we drag it in as well. And this way we create a ramp because we're creating speed ramps, right? So now let's see what we have done. Actually, where the ramp goes up, we go up in speed and where it goes down, we go down in speed. So it's like a snowboarder going on the hill. So shoo, he goes up and then shoom, fires down again. And that is already pretty cool, right? And now with the ramp here, with changing the dot here to the left and to the right, we can actually change how fast it should speed up or how fast or slow it slows down again. I really like to make this hill, yeah, somewhere around that. I think that is pretty epic. But what I wanna do is I want to go back here to the logo again. I am copying the first keyframe, Command C, and paste it again at around two seconds. And now look at that, we are going back in. But you've seen we have a black, black frame here in between. You can easily fix that because now here on the, on, the, on the slider control here, you can actually also use this one to select where you want to speed wrap to. So now we just set the frame a couple of frames back. So this way you avoid that black screen. That's pretty much it. So now we have a speed ramp like that and now you can play around with that. Now we could go back here and now let's use the skill we just learned. And now we use the time here. So we can drag here the time where we want to go next. And you can see here it's so satisfying that the Bravos logo stays always in the center. So let's say here we want to go that far out and at the end we want to be all the way back. So this way we can also create those keyframes. And now let's go into this speed graph again, the graph editor. Now we can see here, that's how the keyframes look. Like this one is linear and these ones are bouncing. So now what I want to do is, I'm selecting the keyframes again, like this here, yellow dot. I'm dragging this one up to one. So it goes back here to this keyframe, the same speed. And make sure here the, the snap is activated. So it snaps to the keyframes, which yeah, saves a lot of time. So now we're snapping this one back as well. And now we have a smooth in and out again. Look at that. Swap, 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 swap. Nice. Now here in this control, we can also go a little bit further in to see what's actually happening. You can see here, this keyframe is set to zero. So there's no speed. The clip speed is at zero. So, but we want it at normal speed. So we drag it up to one. Boom, both of those. And now we make sure we also smooth the curves. And that way, look at that. We have just created that speed ramp, which I think looks super sick. Look at that. Just like that, you can play around with all sorts. You can delete keyframes again. We can go back in again here. So we have kind of these bounces, jump back into the speed graph and edit those. And yes, this way you can create pretty easy speed ramps and it's a super powerful technique, which you just should know. With high speed, we should see motion blur. Right now it looks already smooth because we have really well stabilized it. We have a clean graph because if those graphs are not really well ramped, if they're like linear or they're laggy, your speed ramp won't look good. So it's important to have a proper clip, stabilize it well, then it's really important to really smooth your speed ramps. And the last thing you need for a good speed ramp is motion blur. So all we need to do is literally, we just apply force motion blur, which is an effect. Right now here I'm using FX console to browse through my effects. Boom, just like that. Super quick and easy, but it's exactly the same as you are searching here through the effects and presets tab, it's just faster. So I just applied the effect and right away, look at that. We have applied motion blur because After Effects takes the data where we sped up the clip and actually adds motion blur to it. And just with one effect, we increase the quality of the whole yeah, clip itself of the speed ramp instantly. Look at that. And guys, those speed ramps really live off the motion and the vibe. So make sure you get in a good beat um, here, I just imported one, good music. Get this one in your track. Now you can open up the audio waveform here so you can actually see what is happening. 
inside your track. You can see the bass or any sort of, yeah, what do you want to add it to? So this way you can easily see where you want to place your keyframes. So let's play it back for a second. Okay, there's no drop. I want that drop here. No drop. Come on, give me the drop. Okay, now it's building up. Okay, that looks like a drop. So let's place it here. Okay, now. Oh yes, so now we are placing it on the beat. So we are, okay, now here I want on that boom, where the drop starts, I want that full motion to happen. So let's make sure here the clip is faster. So, so we go out, we need to go faster out. We just drag in the keyframe closer. And here we need to go really fast. Um, and edit those on the beat here. I think this could work. So I'm taking here the audio, look at the audio, and now placing the keyframes close to where I want the beat changes. So where the beat changes in the, in the music happens, so I like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I think that is right away a pretty solid result, <laughs> uh, which is pretty nice. Nice, and then we can transition to another clip on the beat going in. So the next clip should also be a clip that matches the motion of our speed ramp. So if you go left, right, the clip afterwards you're editing to should also go into the same direction. So yeah, but you see, can see here, it really lives of those key things I just shared with you. All right, yeah, and that's basically it. I hope you've learned a lot. I just wanted to quickly share with you how I create my speed ramps because I can't wait to see what you guys are going to create with those techniques. I thought this is pretty straightforward, a quick one. And yeah, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. So I would really appreciate if you like and follow this YouTube channel so we can keep creating more of those tutorials. So guys, I wish you all an amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next one.